We're here to beat Giovanni below 1300 CP. You can see all of the amounts right there. And so this baby butt forehead guy always going to be sending out that Persian first. This Persian has faint attack right here. And so that's usually going to be a lot easier for the majority to defeat. The way that you handle Persian with faint attack is with your fighting types. Polyrath is a wonderful one if you're going below the Great League level CP amounts. Otherwise, you know, go with Machamp, Lucario, Conkelder. And a lot of you guys can just outmuscle this thing if you have like 3000 CP plus those Pokemon. Pokemon will usually defeat Persian quite easily, but if it's using Scratch, then you want to go with your Steel types, Ghost types, but not Ghost attacks, as well as Rock, and you want to try to have ones that use Fighting type attacks against the Persian. And so this is things like Cobalion with Sacred Sword, Giratina Altered Form. It's got the Dragon move set, not the Ghost move set. I've shown so many different options off though, like Galarian Stunfisk as well. If you want that double resistance, it won't deal super effective in that case. But anyway, like I say, I've shown many options off, and there's actually a video just about Persian version that I've done on this channel. It was about two years ago. I feel like I need to update it a little bit just with the new Pokemon that have come out. Anyway, what you're seeing going on right here is we did kind of tank a lot of hits with our Polyrath, but we wanted to get one power-up punch off kind of semi-early. Team Go Rocket is going to stand still every time that you or they switch a Pokemon or use a charge attack. And so one of the first things that you want to do in your matchup is just switch out. So even though your Polyrath is the one that we want to have first off to take on the Persian, don't just put it in right away. For instance, if you're using this exact lineup, you could put that Bisharp in first, switch immediately to the Polyrath to handle the Persian. And so the power-up punch, that's what we're looking for right now. We want to conserve our Ice Punch. You don't need to use that until the next Pokemon, which is going to be Honchkrow. Because Persian is hanging on by a little hair here, you actually don't even need to charge this up nice right here. So that actually probably could have been maybe we would be advantaged to actually not use nice, but just one little power-up before getting it nice. And so the reason is because then we can hit the Persian after that while it's in its stun time, you know, like I said, after a charge attack, they're going to stand still for a good two to three seconds. And so while that's happening, you don't want to use your charge move. Even if you have it ready, you can see that I have the energy pretty much ready for like a power up punch right there. I don't want to use it yet. You want to get in your hits. Now in this particular case, of course, we wanted to use another ice punch. You're going to see that this is mostly going to take the haunch crow out. Haunch crow, it can kind of pack a punch a little bit, but when you have the right resistances and stuff, it's probably one of the easier middle spot Pokemon. I think that you would have to fight if you're just, again, if you're equipped to take it on. Here's the thing is that all of these Pokemon actually resist the fast attack of Giovanni's Pokemon, each one of them. So like Persian was using a dark type attack, so Polyrath was resisting that because of its fighting, but of course Weavile and Bisharp both have dark, which resists dark. Honchkrow was also using a dark type attack, but now the Shadow Latias right here is using Zen Headbutt, which is psychic, and so I'm actually realizing I should go back. Polyrath would not resist this, so maybe I should just rewind a little bit, but Weavile and Bisharp would actually resist all of them, so again, and having that dark type, they are going to resist the psychic type of Zen Headbutt. What you're going to see right here is we're going to do one last avalanche. I'm probably not going to fully charge it up. I just want to show you guys that this would KO that Shadow Latias, but we're actually going to run away, so I'm not going to charge this up all the way. You would normally just do like excellent and boom, KO it. Wow, I got a little bit close. That's dangerous. So I'm going to run away from the fight just so I can show you guys more videos if I need to, other lineups and things. Personally, I can defeat Giovanni at a later date just to get that Shadow Latias myself. Try to hone more into the principles that I talk about here. It's your type advantages, also taking advantage of that stun time or stagnation period after a charge attack or a switch, and then of course spammy move sets. If you're still doing all those things combined, why not check out the full playlist, get some other ideas for how to defeat this guy, just from other angles, and if he uses other Pokemon like Rhyperior, etc. End screen, top comment, and thanks for viewing.